Hello, and welcome to my shout-out video. I recently reached 200 subscribers, and I thought I'd take the opportunity uh, to uh, reach out uh, to my audience, small as it is, and uh, maybe get you guys to uh, invest your time in uh, looking at uh, checking out a couple of other small channels similar to mine. So the list you're about to see is my vanity list. It's a list of other YouTubers who uh, have their own uh, channels with small uh, subscription bases. Every, every one of them has under a uh, thousand subscribers and they're all undersubbed. Uh, they all make different kinds of videos uh, but they're all uh, similar in that they're all atheists, they're all uh, undersubbed, they're all male, and they're all roughly within my age range. Um, so go ahead and check out these, uh, these guys and uh, if you're so inclined, uh, go to the channels and give them a sub. Well, it's kind of a vague generalization there. I mean, what exactly are you talking about when you're talking about bias? Do you know I mean if, if you're talking about how if I'm going into something with um, innate skepticism that it's probably not true, then yeah, I'm guilty. I'm guilty. But I do that not just religious things. I do that with all kinds of things. I think. People tend to forget that you can be an atheist and still believe in some pretty kooky things like reflexology, alien abductions, uh, you know, the power of hallucinogenic drugs to see into like if whatever reptilians ruling everything, the new world order. Christians piously defending Christianity by preventing other Christians from knowing the words of Christ. Such a cast of mind, such a climate of absolute confidence that knowledge should be rewarded by torture and death were unlikely to help those accused of witchcraft. <laughs> I recommend this book. I really do. But for as you can see in this clip, she made a fatal pronouncement. I just thank God for the miracle of the security camera footage, Oprah. Jesus was with me at all times during this ordeal. The six men were immediately advised by the defense team to plead the Yahweh. Which entails? The federal Yahweh defense was enacted in 2085, as you know. By admitting she is a follower, worshiper, and believer in and of the Yahweh, her case was thrown out. For as we know, the Yahweh's laws apply to the Yahweh believer, not man's law, which they reject. So no crime was committed against her. We'll now go to this clip of the meeting between Mary Lowe, the six male defendants, and their respective attorneys. Your client worships the Yahweh. Her rape was ordained and planned by the Yahweh. Um, I would say, if anything, if that it did, if it did affect them in any way, shape, or form, I became a lot more liberal and more uh, prone and aware of human rights as I became an atheist because I realized how much more of a a, a direct effect I have on other people. Um, but. But I, I, I want to I want to genuinely know what is a Christian value? What is Christian? Um, more importantly, what are the Christian values that Christians hold? I want to know because, in my perspective, there's nothing that I held to be morally right or wrong, uh, per se, more Christian, you know, more as a Christian than I do now. According to the Bible, people like Noah and Moses spoke directly to God. They also, incidentally, had unnaturally long lifespans, something I'm quite envious of. But it would appear that, you know, in the last couple of thousand years, he hasn't uh, thought it worth his while to speak 
directly to anybody. The Pope might have something to say about that, but uh, I would turn the question around and say, why must, why can't he reveal himself to us? It would certainly make the whole um, religion business a lot more convincing. The very fact that it has to rely on faith, faith that particularly old religious texts are true are based on reality, not made up by people. That's quite hard to accept, especially when the authorship of these texts is sort of hidden in the mists of history. decided to make this a kind of skeptics channel. Now I know that this doesn't seem convincing and you probably doubt my credentials because I don't have a British accent. I assure you however that I do an absurd amount of research every day because I don't know why. It's it's kind of it's kind of lame really. I guess I'm a nerd. But because of that nerdiness you can trust me. Uh but yeah, I'll, I'll be presenting the arguments definitely free to, um, by all means free, to choose your own side, comment, argue, debate, whatever, in the comment section. Um, I'll, I'll try to get into the debates myself, uh, defend myself, do a little bit of annotation work, don't you love it? And, yeah, so I decided to make this a skeptics channel. Of And it came to pass that the Lamanites did pursue them, and did overtake them, and began to slay them. Now it came to pass that the king commanded them that all the men should leave their wives and their children and flee before the Lamanites. Now, there were many that would not leave them, but had, uh, but had rather stay and perish with them. And the rest left their wives and their children and fled. And it came to pass... So here in a study of ones and zeros on a server untold miles away but as close as a click can make it, is an old dog leaving the porch. I consider myself a lifelong atheist. My mother attempted to raise me Christian. The belief didn't take, but her three favorite quotes did. Judge not, lest ye be judged. Let, the, let he who is without sin cast the first stone, and do unto others. With those phrases comprising the filter media of my mind, I approached my encounters with theists with a live and let live attitude. I mean, I wouldn't want my beliefs attacked, so it would just be plain rude to attack theirs. Oh, and Mom always said, well, drilled into me, mind your manners. Dear, call up your brother's girlfriend, wife, and profess your love for her while recording with a straight face until she knows that you love her. After the conversation, you have to wait at least one hour before calling her back, telling her it was a joke. Uh, yeah. Thanks, Wilbur. Hello, you are free. Leave a message, please, and I will call you back as soon as I am able. Have a great day. Hi.
This is Mr. Todd. Um, there has been something that I have been meaning to tell you for some time, but I haven't been able uh, to work up the nerve. You see, I, I have feelings for you. Um, I'm sorry that this is the way that I, I've had to tell you. I just couldn't hold it in myself anymore. You're s you are so dead, Rubber Wilbur. Okay, so that was a list of uh, the uh, people, my vanity list. Um, but uh, there's a couple other people that I want to give shout outs to. Uh, these are all um, uh, also atheists. Um, the first group that I'm going to uh, show here is uh, a list of uh, uh, young women. Um, they're all just getting started, and uh, we all like uh, watching women on YouTube, so give them a go. Uh, the next two after that, the first one uh, is a guy who would have been on my vanity list, except that he's way too young to be on my vanity list. He's just a little kid. But he's a very, very entertaining and smart little kid. So, um, yeah, check him out, too. Uh, the one after that is uh, a guy who is not an atheist. And he's not American. And he's not Caucasian. So uh, he couldn't go on my vanity list, but he's a guy who deserves a little bit of attention. He actually is a theist. and uh, But he makes some... Uh, videos where he act, he's actually trying to think things through a little bit and he and another guy discuss things once a week uh, in a series he has called Ask David. Uh, check it out. Check it out. The last two that I'm going to put on the bottom of the screen here are um, two um, women who've been around for a little while um, uh, that uh, I've had personal contact with through PMs and whatnot. Um, they're both also under sub, very intelligent, and uh, deserve a check out. Especially, well, I want to say especially, but I do want to give a special sh uh, notice to the Lizard Lass because she featured me on her channel. I'm on her channel right near Nesserin, which I think is pretty cool. So, um, uh, yeah, give her a check out, and if you haven't seen her before, I think you'll enjoy what you see, and make sure you sub her. So. Thanks everybody for watching my shout out video and thanks for being a subscriber. And uh, oh, by the way, if you're mentioned in this video, feel free to mirror the video. That way, everybody else who I talked to about in the video will get even more exposure and uh, we can make this thing snowball a little bit. So, um, think about doing that. Talk to you later. Bye.